Welcome back to Views with Hughes and Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. We're going to go ahead and get into today's story with some, well, a lot of bot activity that's happening out there on social media. Okay, so this is coming straight from X and shout out to Master of the TDS, who is also on YouTube as Gothic Therapy and everything for actually doing this kind of investigation where he's exposing how different entertainment companies, video game companies, as well as Hollywood and social media are using bots to go ahead and promote themselves to make it seem as if everybody's loving it and everything. In reality, you know, they, they really don't. Okay. So, um, think about it. Yeah. Ever wonder why some movies or even games don't even it gets always get so much buzz online, but then we find out they're not really that good. Well, it turns out that some companies are playing tricks on us, okay? No surprise, but at the same time, it's um, new, but not surprising. And they're using bots, okay? Just basically c computer programs that pretend to be real people to make it look like bots are a lot of folks and stuff who are excited about their stuff, okay? So let's go ahead and break down how they're doing this, okay? So on X, formerly known as t on Twitter, Master of the TDS, as y'all can see right here, exposed how you know the bots the use of bots on social media by different companies and entertainment like disney possibly even warner brothers i wouldn't be surprised so on and so forth and stuff are using bots to go ahead and get the word out and make make everyone convinced to go ahead and see these things as well as to go ahead and and actually it basically don't go play using bots to go ahead and create a buzz and stuff to get everyone interested now master of the tds as y'all see here also exposed how these bots are used to boost posts to and manipulate the trending tab all right so he posted here um where he says that warhammer and he's talking about warhammer and everything you know the the new warhammer uh vermintide 2 game that's going to be that's either being released soon or has been released already saying that warhammer has been a topic of discussion today which was this was posted yesterday due to the warhammer official account claiming since the first of the ten thousand were created there have always been female custodians so this is also stemming from the whole thing where um the, the company is trying to go ahead and do some damage control and all of that to show how there's always been female custodians and stuff and like different female leads and even though that may be true and everything they it wasn't that many all right. And at the time, it wasn't even focused on gender ideology or any woke ideology as well. He also continued to post saying many fans were quick to point out that this is not mentioned in the law at all, which is true. I don't know much about Warhammer, but I have been paying attention to the law. But he um, says that many fans were quick to point out that this is not mentioned in the law and accused the Warhammer team of making changes to the law to be more inclusive and diverse in the hopes of appealing to a wider market. Only the reality, they're going to go ahead and lose the core audiences. And speaking of appealing to a wider market, it would seem that someone involved with the Warhammer might not be too confident in their game's continued success because the bots are once again out promoting Warhammer and Vermintide as well as Dark Tide. Okay. So worth noting the, that one of the tweets, even as it has no likes or retweet, retweets, one comment and four million views. That is interesting. Okay. Um, but we're going to take a look at a few of these things right here and stuff. Shout out to Master of the TDS again, by the way, because he's actually doing a great, tremendous job on this. So he shared a post here, um, on X and stuff that that was screenshot that he took himself. Somebody by the uh, name of um Shafe Golden or Shafe Golden at uh, what's it? Warhammer Vermintide 2 enter the grim fantasy world of Warhammer as a member of the resistance against the rat like rat like Skaven and the chaotic forces of chaos with cooperative gameplay and intense melee combat Vermintide 2 offers a visceral experience and it also has somebody you know um, responding to saying join the fight against the Skaven and chaos epic battles await alright now Here's where it really gets interesting, y'all. Warhammer, Remontide 2, Enter the Gate, Grim Fantasy, so on and so forth. Basically, it's the same thing as we've seen right here in this post, okay? So we see a different account and stuff with the verified badge and stuff. And notice that, you know, they this person also has a ver verified badge too. 
they have the same exact post okay so if that's the case that's got me wondering what if these are all are all you know accounts of people who just started using the um just started using the subscription for X and stuff to get the verified badge and stuff, but haven't been using it much, or they might be new members, but don't know that their accounts has been used as bots and everything, you know? And what if that's the case? Because, you know, and then also all these other things, they're also, you know, basically repeating. And if you notice here, there's no likes or retweets and stuff, but there's like thousands of views and stuff to these different posts all right and these are also people who are from around the world and like even uh like european countries or middle eastern countries so on and so forth you know saying like basically almost the same things and stuff uh i love the intense melee combat over here uh i think i saw i think i saw another one over over here that's similar to that uh hang on yeah i i love the intense melee combat over here and stuff yeah these are the same th kind of things these are the same posts right here word for word you know and, and and this is crazy but not surprising at all and stuff you know and this is w what they're really doing okay this is the kind of stuff that they're really doing to go ahead and get the word out to try to outdo the backlash that they're taking on that's being taken in okay Let's go over to the next one. Oh, different account, same messaging right here. Okay. Master of the TDS has really been on this. Okay. So Master of the TDS also exposed how these bots are used to put on um, boost posts and stuff, try to manipulate the trending tab. And the Master of the TDS showed how this actually creates uh, what, what's called an artificial hype to and uses it to promote a false narrative in favor of the entertainment companies. In this case, Warhammer 2. Warhammer on Vermintide 2, okay? And Master of the TDS also noted how franchises like Warhammer and even Star Wars Outlaws were specifically mentioned, okay? And Master of the TDS also expressed that, you know, different concerns about the impact on politics and the, as well as how government has been, um you know, used to um, create these bots too. Even verified accounts with bank accounts and stuff are attached to that are controlled by bots they're being used by these com companies and master of the tds also showed how the goal is to actually appeal to both normies and corporate masters and try to demote you know any response or that are critical of the different content out there all right and you know master of the tds he's also noted how they can buy old inactive accounts and stuff and turn them into bots on the social media platform he also you know shared how the different companies used these different purchase accounts and stuff that were um purchased possibly by hackers and stuff and turn them into bots on social media on social any social media platform in this case x and he also talked about how companies use these purchase accounts and use them to actually try to contribute to their social media followers to get their content out there to make more money off of them. All right. And these are also accounts who have been had, who have had any activities done to them since possibly 2012 or possibly even 2011. All right. And you know what? This isn't a surprise at all because of the fact that he actually went on ahead and shared most more of these things and everything about the, you know these different bot accounts and stuff. Look at this, like a bunch of different scripted responses and posts and stuff, copied and pasted and stuff onto like different accounts just to go ahead and try to create buzz around this. All right, and this it's it's basically it seems like it was scripted, and somebody even you know. I'm pretty sure there was a time where I saw on his account that he showed somebody actually creating a thread, a long thread that seemed like it was, you know, copied and pasted from a particular article. OK, but the fact of the matter is, you know, basically these companies like Disney and even Warhammer creators are, are pretty much sneaky. OK, 
they're pretty sneaky and you know the different fake profiles and stuff that's where they you know just like like just like real users sometimes even with verified checks like i showed y'all to make their lives look trustworthy okay and then what these companies are doing they're playing the system okay they know how to how to make the most noise where it counts using different tricks to try to get more eyes on their posts so that way they can go ahead buy their products buy into the project so that they'll push the content that they want us to see it to the top of our feeds okay and then there's also a bunch of teamwork behind the scenes where you know basically try to imagine a bunch of robots that's tr tr pretending to be a crowd okay of people interested in different content this is where they work together to make it seem like something is way more popular than it really is okay but got me wondering who exactly is behind all of this you know who's running the show all behind of this well three different factions and you'll be surprised by one of them big entertainment first and foremost this is where different movie studios and game makers would use bots to try to create a lot of fake hype to get us to watch their movies or even buy their games then there's also social media sites where there are these are places uh, where all the bot action often happen and they can fight back against the bots where but they need a good reason to do so like new rules or a lot of us complaining okay and then there's us, the people. That's right. Us on the front lines where we're the targets of these tricks and stuff and how we react can make a big difference. Whether it be like talking bad about it on social media or even hate watching the stuff on the streaming um, uh, um, softwares too. Now, how exactly can we fight against these bots? Well, first and foremost, we got to be really, really smart about it, okay? And this will include like using like better tools where we can create like different smarter ways to try to spot and shut down these fake accounts by reporting them too. All right. And then there's also the new rules where we where there should be like new rules and stuff to make it clear what's what's an ad and what's a real person talking. OK, and then different social media sites should tell us when they find bots and what they're doing about them. OK, right now we're seeing that Elon Musk has often said that he was going to like X is going to work to continue to eliminate the bots and stuff. But the thing is, the bots are still in existence out there. So how exactly are they going to do it? And then it's also where we have to learn the signs. Okay, now if we learn the signs about how we can spot these fakes and stuff, we don't have to fall for their tricks so easily. Okay, it's like knowing when a magician is actually doing a sleight of hand and stuff. Okay, so if we go ahead and look past the bot sneak attacks and stuff, it can help us to prepare for the new ones. Okay, we can um think about it. Just think about it. Movies that don't really seem as good as they put, are being put out there to see or we can just automatically tell like what's going to be a good movie what's not nowadays. Sometimes before a big movie comes out, there's a certain big wave of excitement for it. But if you see that, that may be the bots. OK, when p the different platforms catch on, they can turn down the noise. OK, and then there's also games getting the unearned praise. OK, that's where we where we ever see a game get a ton of good reviews out of nowhere. OK, and if you see that, that means that bots might be boosting those numbers to outweigh the different bad reviews. OK, so that way the companies can go ahead and stay show show off how good the games are, how successful they are and everything. OK, and the um not only video game companies, but it can also be certain entertainment companies as well. And who else am I talking about? I'm talking about good old Bob Iger. Okay. Bob Iger. He over at Disney and everything, I guarantee you, and this has been exposed out there too in the past where di there's different shows as well as bots out there on Twitter and X and stuff going out there trying to talk a lot of good stuff about this and it's also been exposed by master the tds how disney's been pulling these tricks as well okay and it's it's a actually a shame quite unfortunate how these things are being done behind the scenes and stuff where there's been a lot of build up to these different disney movies and everything whether it be the different marvel movies and stuff where you know a lot of heavy anticipation been done but at the same time we see that we've kind of find out that those things aren't so good under Disney. Okay. And Bob Iger, he doesn't even want to explain anything about that. Okay. 
he doesn't want to talk about that because he has to take accountability for these different actions and stuff and you know this this video is it wasn't talked i was why is it planning i was planning on only talking about warhammer but this is also reminding me about all the times about how bob Iger went on ahead and tried to also use these different bots and stuff i'm not saying bob Iger him specifically but i'm pretty sure people who are working for the company and stuff probably got bought these bots and stuff to go ahead and that's by, by, by the bots, but also by the different shells out there for Disney and stuff, promising them different rewards and all of that to go ahead and say nothing but positive things about the different movies and stuff that's coming out soon. And, you know, if you get the right keywords and stuff, you can put it, it could be like the um, perfect post to get people interested in these kind of things. But at the same time, those keywords are often used by other Disney shows as well as people who copy and paste these responses into the um, post on X and stuff. Okay. And Bob Iger, I guarantee he doesn't want to explain any of this because of the fact that he has to admit that these things are unsuccessful. And that's going to be looking bad for shareholders and stuff. Okay. And we've all seen the recent shareholders meeting and everything where the, um, where the nuts and pelts is lost and everything because the shareholders voted for them for, for, for Bob Iger as well as his on board. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, Always question something, movie, show, video game that's coming out from companies like Ubisoft or the um, companies that make Warhammer or even Disney themselves, okay? Always question the um, product itself, okay? Always question itself. Is it really, if you, if you feel that it's not going to be good and you predict and you know it's not going to be good and stuff, go online and see exactly how people are craving for it and stuff. I guarantee you, you'll be able to recognize different bots, okay? So let me know your thoughts about this in comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional thoughts you may have on this particular topic. If you enjoy what I shared in this video, go ahead, smash the like button, share far wide across social media. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.